I don't know if you can tell my voice is a little scratchy. I'm from Florida. This is pollen season down there. And I got I got sick last week and I'm laying on the couch trying to knock it and, and I'm there all day long and I don't know how many of you gentlemen have had the pleasure of watching daytime television. Uh, but I'm, I've got like 400 channels and I'm doing this. And finally I found a thing called Classic Soap Opera Channel. And a show comes on called All My Children. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm laying on the couch looking at it. And after about 20 minutes, I said, honey, come here. See this show? This is the dumbest show on television. Three days later, I'm laying on the couch watching this show. <laughs> and I said, sweetheart, come here. Let me tell you something. Tad is the father of that child. <laughs> sucks it right out of you. So, I, I finally, my wife says to me, because she loves me, she says, you need to get off that couch, you need to go to Walmart and get some Sudafed to knock this out. So I went, and I couldn't find it. And I'm walking around, and finally I found this lady had a shirt that said, ask me, I can help. I said, sweetheart, help me out here. I cannot find the Sudafed. And she said, well, sir, it's over behind that counter. I said, why is it over there? She said, well, there's ingredients in there you can use to make crystal meth, and so you have to sign for it. I said, really? What else do you need? <laughs> she looked at me and said, an easy bake oven? <laughs> but then you get to the point where you start getting old, you got the place, you, see, here's the thing about getting old. Here's the thing. I, you get old, you think you're getting old. See, there are guys in here that think they're old, and I got socks older than them. Right? <laughs> then you get to 55, and you go to your mailbox, and there's that card from AARP. You didn't ask for it. You can move 14 times in three days. They'll track you down. <laughs> but when you know you're really getting old is when people in your life, and you did not ask them to do this, start worrying about your health. My sister will call my house, and if I don't answer the phone, she will call my neighbor to come over and see if I am dead. <laughs> my son calls one day, says, hey, Dad, we were loving, what loving, wondering, do you have a living will? Why? Well, we want to know what to do if you're plugged into life support. I don't know, unplug me, plug me back in, see if that works. <laughs> reboot, 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 reboot. And then he says the dumbest thing, well, what we really were wondering what to do with the money that's left over. I have a living will for that. While I'm living, I will spend it. <laughs> You're on your own. No, it's a different, it's a different world. It's a, it's a different world. You know, you, you get to be young, and I don't know how many young guys have walked through a, like a, a drugstore, and you walk down this aisle all of your life, and all of a sudden you go, ooh, pill boxes. <laughs> I can use one of those. <laughs> and it's simply the days of the week. <laughs> Fast forward a few years, and it's like, I need an AM and a PM pill box. <laughs> What I'm saying is my pill box has wheels on it. That's where I am right now. And, um, but here's how you know you're really getting in. Here's the thing. My doctor is on my case about going to the gym. And I don't think I need to go. And I'll tell you why. Because I am in great shape. All right? I do not smoke because of what it does to your lungs. I do not eat red meat because of what it does to your heart. And I stopped eating Wheaties because of what it did to Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Bet you never thought about that, did you? <laughs> I know. I know. It's getting old. It's not for weak people. Not for weak people, anyway. <laughs> I don't know, anyway. So, uh, the point being, the point being that uh, my doctor will not leave me alone. So I have to go to the gym, and I do not like going because you go there, and these young boys in these Richard Simmons workout shorts... <laughs> want to come up and talk to you and tell you what they're doing in the gym that day. 
Last time I was there, this kid comes up and he says, hey, today uh, I'm working my tries, my buys, and my lats. What are you working on, sir? The stuff that doesn't hurt from yesterday. <laughs> and then he says the dumbest thing. He says, can you spot me? <laughs> I didn't know. No. He says, what that means is I'm going to lay on this bench. And I'm going to lift this 350-pound weight up and down. And if it falls on me, you pick it up. <laughs> he goes, what do you think? I think you're going to die. <laughs> but God love you ladies. You put up with our foolishness because every man in here is, is wired the same way. You put us in a small room with those cute little girls in those spandex outfits. And we're going to want to impress them. And I am no different. When one walks by me, I will stand there, suck it in, lift it up, not even breathe like that makes any difference. <laughs> so I go over to this lady. I says, sweetheart, she's got a shirt that says staff. I says, sweetheart, help me out here. Of all the machines in this room, which one could I use that would most impress these young women. She looked at me and said, sir, in your case, I would suggest the ATM. <laughs> <laughs>